You can use a point or any sort of scratchy material to make a mark in copper. It's soft enough to receive most any direct work. Copper has a grain, so it sort of participates in your drawing. You can see the curves that I'm making are kinked and not exactly perfect because the copper is tugging at the point. The weight in your hand will determine the density of the mark. You can see Richard Tuttle is just barely scratching the surface with his point. It'll print a very fine line. Judy Pfaff used a lot of heavy machinery and odd tools that she found around our studio. Here she's using a compass with a point inside to create the concentric circles for her print, half a dozen of the other, Delfumio e Polvera. The way you hold your point and the weight in your hand will determine the density of your mark. Holding it vertically will lift a burr on each side of the mark and print the boldest line. In Tom Marioni's 2006 project, he hung six plates on the wall of our studio, and with a point in his fist and his fist at his hip, he walked past each plate and made a mark, the drawing coming out of the movement of his body. All of the plates were layered in the printing to make a diptych. The final print is walking drawing dry point. You can make tones without the use of acid by stippling with a point or stippling tool. When densely clustered, these small round burrs will appear tonal in printing. There are special tools made for creating tones without the use of acid, such as a mezzotint rocker or roulette. A mezzotint rocker is used to make a black tone over the entire plate, and the image is created out of reductively taking out the tone through scraping and burnishing. Use the tool by holding it vertically, slightly angled over its teeth, and rock it back and forth with your wrist in every direction. You can use it in a selected area as well, as you can use a roulette to shade and tone certain areas of your image. Roulettes with a fine tooth pattern will create subtle tones, whereas roulettes with a coarser tooth pattern on the head will create darker blacks. Sandpaper can be used to shade certain areas. Fine sandpaper will create a medium tone, whereas coarse sandpaper will rough up the plate enough to print quite dark. Steel wool can be used to make a very subtle tone. Here's Wayne Tebow in the studio 2006. He made a test plate, which you see here next to the proof and the tools that he used to make the plate. He chose coarse sandpaper and a metal bristle brush to make the shading of the figures and the waves in tide figures. This is the plate inked up and being proofed in black. 